everyone, this is Solomon from Solomonic Demos and today we're going to be checking the PBJXX 120W set. Uh, the PBJXX series it used to be the signature amplifiers from Joyce Atriani before he moved to Marshall. Uh, he used to have the head, uh, a combo and a micro combo and these amplifiers are from the family of the Ultra 2 series of amplifiers so it's related to, uh, to the triple X and to the original Ultras. Um, we're gonna be using my LTD Elite. Uh, this guitar is loaded uh, with a Seymour Duncan JB on the bridge and a Seymour Duncan Jazz on the neck. I'm gonna be connecting the guitar straight to my amplifier, the amplifier to my load box, my load box to my interface, and I'm gonna be using some IRs, uh, some cab impulses from Torpedo Wall of Sun. So let's see how the PBJSX sounds. All right, guys, this guitar is on this standard. Uh, I'm gonna put it on the neck pickup and we're gonna start with the clean channel as you guys can see this is the clean channel and these are the specs that I like on this amplifier uh, this amplifier also have resonance and press pre resonance and presence and we have a master volume too and yeah let's see how it sounds in the clean channel And now I'm gonna put some uh, reverb and delay. add a little bit more of resonance and presence Alright guys, and that was the clean channel of the PBJSX. I'm gonna remove the reverb and delay. I'm gonna put back the presence on the middle and let's see how the cron channel sounds. Alright guys, now that we are in the cron channel, what I'm gonna focus more in this video is the levels of the gain of the crunch and the ultra channel. So I don't gonna touch uh, too much the EQ while I'm recording this part. And also my guitar, uh, the JB pickup, it doesn't have a too much gain, especially this one because this one is a cover pickup. Uh, but I like uh, how this guitar sounds with this amplifier because this thing have a lot of gain. The amplifier have a lot of gain. So a pickup that sounds good, but it doesn't have too much gain combined with a ultra gain amplifier sounds really, really good. And yes, we're gonna start with the gang on 9 am and this is how the amplifier sounds in the crown channel. <laughs> 
Now I'm gonna go all the way to 12. Resonance. And I'm gonna add a little bit of river and delay. guys and now I'm gonna remove the river and delay and we're gonna proceed uh, to the ultra gain channel all right guys now we are in the ultra channel and the settings are very similar as it was in the cron channel and we're gonna start with the gain at 9 a.m. like we did in the crunch so this is how the ultra channel sounds <laughs> We're gonna go to 12 p.m. Thank you. 
right guys sounds really good right it has a lot of gain and this is with the gain all the way up Alright guys, as you guys can hear, this channel have a lot of more gain uh, than the current channel and this is why I'm using this guitar too because I can max out the gain with it uh, with another guitar, it's really hard so I'm gonna put it back on 9am and we're gonna hear how the amplifier sounds with reverb and delay As you guys know I've been using a noise gate all the time I've been using my 14 Soul and I know you guys are asking how the amplifier song with the noise gate that is integrated on it and so I'm gonna remove my noise gate and I'm gonna increase the level of the noise gate of the amplifier all the way up and as you guys can hear the noise don't go all the way out that's why I've been using my own noise gate So yeah, that's why I've been using my own noise gate because this is not the noise gate that you guys really want to use. Alright guys, that was the PBJSX 120 watts head and for me this was the best sounding amp from the Ultra Tube series from PB. And after Joyce 20 left, they rebranded this amplifier as a PB Triple X2. I had the PB Triple X2 and they actually sound the same. Uh, I can say that that was the revision of this amplifier. Uh, I felt the EQ uh, a little bit different on the PV Triple X2. The PV Triple X2 used to have more mids, a little bit more mids, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they just rebranded and they didn't change anything. But I, I think that they they tweaked the EQ a little bit on the Triple X2. But they were practically the same amplifiers at the end. And yes, that once again that was the PVJ SX 120 watts head. Please share, like, and subscribe this. Thank you so much. See you next time.